Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for all you guys born in the year of the dragon. It is of course Karma Wednesday, Reptilian Wednesday. We do the dragon and the snake on a Wednesday, which are the two karmic signs. So if you are a dragon, this is the reading for you. Let's have a little look-see and see how your week has been and what is forecast to come. If you are new to the channel, what we do is we shuffle these cards up, we take three, and we compare the compatibilities between the dragon and the cards on the other side. Because we've got black and we've got white, positive and negative. Could be worse, could be better. But we're going to concentrate more on the compatibility when we turn them over. So let's stop about there. Also, a little reminder that I do shuffle with my eyes closed. That's why it's a bit sloppy and a little bit all over the place. So you're going to have to bear with me and forgive me for that. We're going to stop there. We're going to take that one from the bottom. We're going to take that one from the middle. We're going to take that one from the top. What have we got? Okay, so we've got a white, black, white. Two whites there and a black, but as I've always said, white isn't always all right. Black isn't always an attack. It's about what's on the other side here. And it's the ox, which is actually relatively compatible for the dragon. So that's actually a good start. So uh, the ox is part of the thinking affinity triangle. It's a part of those thinkers. And if you want to know more about the thinking or thinkers triangle, then hit that subscribe button. The ox is also a very hard worker, as much as the dragon is, and I think right now you're going to be uh, very, very busy and very, very, very hands-on. But I think you know that, and I think you uh, respect that and you appreciate that. It's almost like you've been prepared for it. You're a dragon, so as a doer, and as part of the doer triangle, you are fully prepared to take on whatever jobs or challenges are coming or what you have to do. There is goals and things that you are trying to reach. There are things that you are trying to kind of get to or to to kind of uh, sort of... Um, you you want to reach something. There is, there is something you're aspiring to. There is a goal that you want to get to. There is something that you want. And you're trying to get there. I think there's going to be a lot of hard work and there's a lot of things that you need to consider. A lot of thinking to do. A lot of thinking. You need to put your mind uh, into overdrive right now and try and... Uh, figure all of this out this is not a time for compromising this is not a time for backing down this is not a time for and in any sense giving up the ox is a very stubborn patient sign it's very much do what needs to be done get it done at all costs doesn't matter if it takes a week a month a year you get it done you concentrate on it and you you focus on it and you'll reach it eventually you're not going to compromise, you're not going to negotiate, you've got things to do. You are unyielding at this time, dragon people, and that's exactly as you should be. I think right now you need to uh, you need to stand up and take that authority for yourself. You need to be the one that's in control, the one that's in charge, the one that is the hard worker, not complaining, getting it done and showing people it can be done. We've got an emotional card there. Things are a little bit strained at the moment emotionally, I think. You're all over the place. Your feelings are all up and down. It's all over the place. That tiger is emotional, romantic. It's about the heart. It's about the feelings. It's about, um, you know, how you're uh, responding and reacting to things of an emotional level. But the tiger and the dragon are actually really compatible. And the tiger is actually... Um, even though it's in the black there, is actually really good with the dragon. They go together quite well. That's power, that's speed, that's that's strength. It's uh, it's dominance, it's, it's taking control. And that's exactly what the ox is telling you here because that tiger is a... Uh, is, it, it's a card that is moderate or it's a sign that is moderately successful when it comes with the dragon. And I think right now there's going to be a few lips a few things you've got to overcome a few things you've got to consider a few things that you may not understand or that you've neglected and it's going to make you a little bit agitated it's going to make you a little bit frustrated but as long as you remain vocal about it and you express it you're going to be okay you don't want to be going through any time um, or going through these times of misunderstanding or unsureness or confusion or whether you're on the right path or not because I think that you are 
and I think right now you are um, you're just basically pushing through this. You are pushing through as a typical dragon, and you're gonna push through it. You're gonna get through it. Right now, I think you're going to um, you're going to have to learn to compromise a little bit, just a little bit. Even though you know that ox is telling you not to, you have to be unyielding. Don't compromise. You've got to push through. But there is some compromise to be had here because you can't do everything. You can't do everything. And I think right now. The conflicts that are going on around you, the things that you are struggling with, these things that are harder for you, I think right now you need to put on the back seat and just kind of uh, leave. Don't ignore them. Don't forget them. Just leave them to one side while you tackle the things that are a little bit easier or a little bit uh, more in some ways on your level. You know, there are some things that you need to compromise with and have people help you with. It's, you don't be afraid to ask for help dragon people there's nothing wrong with uh helping people you need to make sure that your ego isn't getting in the way here and defining what it is that you're actually doing um oh and the monkey card's gonna jump in and uh give you a little bit of a helping hand because that monkey is in your affinity triangle it's a part of the doers it's very compatible with you it's a soulmate for the dragon they go together like a hand in a glove like two shoes in a pair they are very very good together they make a brilliant team and i think right now that monkey is basically telling you again there's things to get done it's a part of that doer triangle just as much as the dragon is you need to get stuff done. You need to concentrate on what you want to get done, what you need to get done, the things that you are not necessarily neglecting, but the things that you have maybe forgotten about um, and the things that you could have done easily. Maybe that's what it is. The easier things have been neglected because you've tried to take on the challenges because the ego has told you that you can do it and that the challenges should be uh, tackled first. No, you should have done the easier stuff first, the stuff that you thought was... Uh, beneath you almost the stuff that you thought could just wait the stuff that you thought wouldn't necessarily matter too much well these little things now are starting to pile up so don't neglect them you need to make sure that all the jobs are being taken care of all the jobs are being looked after and all the things are being uh being taken um into consideration as i say you need to be more i suppose in some ways a better delegator you need to delegate your time a little bit. And that monkey is definitely telling you not to forget yourself either. You need to make sure that you're looking after yourself because you're taking on a lot, dragon. Lovely little dragon people. You're taking on a lot. So you need to actually be able to be sure that you can actually balance this stuff and actually be able to carry it all. And actually be and I don't I don't doubt you. You're a dragon. If you're gonna carry it, you will carry it. And I think, I think right now, all you're looking for is to have your efforts acknowledged, have your efforts appreciated, have your efforts uh, sort of, you know, thanked. And, uh, and basically, um, people can actually see that it's you that's done it and actually give you that praise. And I think that's why it's got something to do with this ego here, that you do need somebody to come along and say you're doing a good job. So just rest assured, dragon people, you are doing a good job. These cards aren't bad cards for you. The ox, the tiger and the monkey, they're all compatible with you to some degree in different ways. They're all very much uh, hard working, power, strength, patience, pushing forward, perseverance, determination. You've got a lot to do and there's a lot of things that you can, uh, that you can change or, or adapt to to get this done a lot better and to actually achieve what you need to achieve, as I say. There's goals here and, and things that you need to sort of um, acknowledge to get done so that you can progress. So don't neglect that. Don't forget that. Be uncompromising. Don't, don't be so quick to just throw everything down and just give up. Just keep on pushing forward. You don't need to worry too much when it comes to your goals and what you're doing because you are a doer and you know what you're doing. But as I say... Don't neglect those little jobs, those little things that you may have uh, that you may have just thought, you know what, they're not that important. Well, dragon people, those little jobs could definitely turn out to be relatively important. So consider everything in this. Like I say, that ox is telling you to be mindful and to try and remain as mindful as possible. And we'll find out, won't we, next week when we come back and do another reading for the dragon people, how you guys have gotten on. We'll be back later on this afternoon for a reading for the snake people. So if I don't see you then, I'll see you next week when we do another reading for the dragon people. Thanks for watching, guys. Love and peace.